Let's head to the hardwood because the basketball season is in full swing. When you think basketball in Missouri, a couple of teams come to mind like Michon and Webster Groves. But this year, we have a new team to look out for. If you haven't had a chance to check out the Melville Panthers this season, then you need to look up their schedule and attend a game because they are one of the teams to beat in this area. They returned the trio of Dylan Branton, Davion Bradford, and Lamonte Daughtery. And the difference between last year and now, they're more experienced and have a chip on their shoulder. Last year, they were bouncing the playoffs courtesy of CBC. This time around, they look to go all the way. We're kind of the underdogs in some situations, like on the rankings, stuff like that. We don't really trip off those things. I feel like this season we uh, make it a greater mindset just to kill and be ready for everything we got. I just think that we'll be battle tested. You know, like last year, I don't. I think that the, not that it was too big for us, but just as a collective group, it was too big. Some of us had been in big games and some of us hadn't. Uh, but if we're all in the, this year together, you know, we're gonna we're gonna learn a little bit about ourselves. So let's see how they did today, taking on Hancock. Dylan Branton and Davion Bradford starting things out with a bang. Literally, Branton to Bradford for the alley-oop. Later on, it's Brandon showing off the fundamentals up and under for the deuce. Hancock would do their best to stay in the game in the first quarter, but it was too much Melville in this one. Branton had 24 while Bradford had 20, 17, excuse me. Melville will go on to win 83 to 54.